Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'll be working in Affinity Designer and Pixel Over to show you how to take vector sketches to pixel art using these two tools. The process will be starting with the creation of the vectors, taking it into Pixel Over where the output is pretty close to what we want and then it just needs a little bit of cleaning up to get a crisp pixel art sprite. I try to keep it rather basic, but this is not a beginner's introduction into pixel art or vector creation. Some basic knowledge will definitely be helpful to understand the process. Here's a variation of the character. I did separate him into different layers. For later animation it is helpful if you can export the body parts as separate images. Let's get started on the new character by reusing elements from the existing one, taking the head shape, modifying it slightly, taking the facial features and again modifying it to give it a new look. For this project I created a 32 color palette that was taken from a palette in Pixel Over. That way the colors will match better when converting from full color RGB to just 32 colors in Pixel Over. Seeing we're working with pixel output in mind, the level of detail you need to put in is limited. In the end, we are working on a pixel sprite that will roughly be just 64 pixels high. Adjust your level of detail right from the start. I would suggest exporting early on to see how much of the detail is actually visible when you export to the final size. With this kind of workflow, I like to duplicate a lot of the stuff I've done prior. That's the big advantage of working with vectors. Recycling and recoloring, reusing the elements is a big time saver when you work on a lot of assets for a game. Plus, it's very easy to keep a body parts separate for later animation. For this video, I will export the whole character as one though. Once the last bits of detail are in, I select everything and export it to PNG and make sure I'm exporting the selection only. So give it a new file name and we have a PNG file that we can then take into Pixel Over. Here we have the high res image and we want to reduce it to our destination size, which is just 12% of the original. Then I go in and start the indexing Reduce the colors to 32. I use the pre-existing palette that is identical with the palette I used in Affinity Designer. A little bit of dithering in parts helps get a bit more detail. And finally, I add the outline. In this case, it's an inline, which gives me the black border that makes the sprite stand out from the background a little bit better later on. Pixel Over offers a lot more options. I'm just scratching the surface here. Try it out, play around with it and see what works best for you. Once I'm happy with the results, I export the PNG and bring it back into Affinity Designer. I open the PNG file as a new document and switch to the Pixel Persona. Here I can work on the bitmap level using the Pixel tool. You can do the same thing in the Pixel Art tool of your choice. As long as it supports transparent PNGs, has a one pixel paint tool, the same with the vector design in the beginning. You can achieve the same in Inkscape, Adobe Illustrator or Coral Draw, just to name a few. I'm nearly done bringing out the detail. One thing that does look nice is take the black outline and give it a shade that matches the color next to it. As with any piece, I could polish it some more, but I'll leave it at that, export it as a PNG file. Looking at the comparison now, we have the initial vectors, the pixel over output that has some blurry parts. It looks nice and smooth, but I prefer my sprites to be a little crisper. And we have the pixel version, which took a little bit of touching up. It wasn't a major job. Everything was in place. It was just bringing out the detail. So from a 
time standpoint, it is definitely faster to go through a tool like this. Working with vectors as your initial sketches to me has great advantages. It is way more flexible when I need to create a lot of characters or assets than have similar components. It's variation and recycling that makes it so easy and so fast to work with. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial to give you a glimpse of the workflow to get from vector to pixel art. If you learned something today, hit the like button to celebrate your new bit of knowledge. To help you remember everything you've learned even better, subscribe to the channel. Please leave a comment below to let me know what you'd like to see in this channel or on the website and I will see you again soon.